Mercus came to town today, and with it, a circus family. Kristen Carlson introduces us to the Wonderlies and found out what it's like to grow up under the big top. Oh, it's a blast. It's a lot of fun. Circus Smirkus is in town. The group is getting ready for the show. During the summer, the troupe performs 70 times in six states, and it all features young talent. It's just, um, it's an unbelievable experience. A big top life one family lives every day. I never in a million years thought this was what my life was going to be like. I thought I was going to be in the medical field, doing physical therapy, you know, nine to five job. But after Sarah fell in love with Troy, a professional clown, juggler, and stilt walker, that all changed. The two now help run the circus. Troy teaches and performs, and Sarah sells tickets and organizes the shows, a year-round job. So, two tomorrow. After they married, the Wonderlies had two daughters and decided to take them on tour. When summer ends, the native Vermonters go home to Cambridgeport, where Troy started his own performing arts company. You know, generations of circus families have done this. This is not a new thing. It's a new thing to Smirkus. We're the first Smirkus family uh, to ever raise children in this environment. Ready up. <laughs> There's five-year-old Ariana and eight-year-old Emily. Both are following their dad into the ring. I like to do a lot of stretching and all sorts of stuff. And we like performing with our dad because it's very fun. I gave all my flexibility to the kids. It's funny. Everybody jokes here on tour that I have three kids. Thank you so much. <laughs> High five, coach. <laughs> the Wonderlies spend the summer living out of an RV. By the end of the tour, we got down to a science, right? <laughs> Packing and unpacking as they prep for another show. All right, your turn, little one. Um, it brings us together. We work together as a team really well. You have to. You live in a tight quarter for seven weeks on tour. Good girl. That's the one. That is the one. Emily learned to crawl at the circus and is now doing handstands. It's never an assumption that they will be a part of the show. Um, as of right now, they continue to say yes. And that was really nice, and your legs were together. When that year comes, they say no. It's a no, you know. It, this is, it's another hobby, you know. Kids go to gymnastics classes or they take music lessons. This is their hobby during the summertime. And another first for the Wonderlies, Ariana lost her first tooth and wanted to show her circus friends. at the same time because you don't know what's going to happen. How do you get over your nerves? Well, I just settle down and say, okay, it's going to work. We're going to do this and it's going to be okay. <laughs> A family making the circus part of their life while bringing smiles to others. What better thing for a parent to be able to show a child that life doesn't need to be about you. It needs to be about you in relationship to the environment around you. And uh, I think that uh, all of us learn a lot on a daily basis around this lot. Kristen Carlson, Channel 3 News, Montpelier. Circus Smirkus is performing another show tonight and two tomorrow in Montpelier. Then the group will wrap their tour in Greensboro over the weekend. Makes you want to run away again. I know, it looks like fun. It looks like so great fun. Cute. Yeah. All right, let's take one.